Hello and welcome to Give and Take, The Positives in Lives. And as you saw, we started with a wonderful intro and the video. And um, I have a fabulous guest here that has so much to share. And she will uh, introduce herself and tell you what she does and explain to you what that wonderful video was. So welcome. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, the video is my latest documentary that I shot in India. Okay. And uh, I work in the field of spirituality. Uh, I film and write about spirituality. Mm -hmm. And that was the latest one, and it was an amazing spiritual experience as well. Mm -hmm. And it was like a miracle that you know, could the crew and equipment, they all came together and we went all the way to India to shoot this documentary. Wow. And I had the chance to interview uh, with many valuable people you know, spiritually. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, some of them are my teachers, spiritual teachers. Mm -hmm. And I was also so lucky because it was a kind of season people they gathered from all around the world mm -hmm. and in different parts of the world. Lovely. So I had the chance to interview with everybody. And there were questions in my mind. And But first of all, when I first started the spiritual journey, the questions in my mind and as a beginner, and I always, always thought about myself then after, you know, I had gone on a way, this spiritual journey, when I look back for the new be beginners, uh, at the beginning of their journeys, they, had, they might have the same questions. Then I asked these questions to these people. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the questions were very different and interesting. Why? Because we discussed about quantum physics, we discussed about reincarnation, the faith in reincarnation, and especially the title is The Transition, uh, which we are in a transition period at the moment, mm -hmm. and what to expect, how to behave, right. what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it was 2011, so I, I, I asked so many questions about what's going to happen after 2012, the mm -hmm. Mayan calendar. Right. And, but it's not exactly what the world is were expecting mm -hmm. and to hear because people were expecting just in 2012 or something a magic power you know something is going to happen in the world but it's not like that it's it's a process it is a process yeah it's yeah. it's just a process mm -hmm. and these uh, teachers these spiritual leaders they right. all talked about this process uh, which would be accelerated, I believe, after 2012. Okay. So now I just wanted to do a little rewind because we didn't talk about the topic. And so it was teachings of the universe. And if you just want to give them your name and what it is that you do, your title. Oh, teachings of the universe. Um, and your name. <laughs> oh, my name is Jada Slikulichkran. Okay. Um, Wonderful name. Where does it originate oh, from? Oh, thank you. I'm from Turkey. Okay. My name is Arabic. Okay. Uh, it's a bit hard for people to pronounce it because G is like J in okay. Turkish. And, and so it's like Seda here, but it's Jada. Okay. So teachings of the universe, because what I learned in the spiritual journey to act and it being in harmony with the universal laws. Mm. So if we learn about how to behave because the universe is so fair and all the energy what goes around what comes around Absolutely. so that's what what my main belief is mm -hmm. and there are so many um, universal laws that i was so ignorant in the past mm -hmm. that's why you know sometimes uh, things go wrong and then we can't control things right. as we talked mm -hmm. previously but if you if we act in harmony of the universal energy, everything is fine. Yes. Like we have to learn how to surrender. We have to learn not to push things, to insist on things. It's, it's a matter of trust mm -hmm. also. And it's all about the, the strong connection with the Supreme Soul at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Right, how lovely. And so when you say the Supreme Soul, is that anything in particular? Some people say Supreme Soul, Supreme Spirit. So what is your definition of the Supreme Soul? Supreme Soul is a universal power. Okay. 
And it doesn't matter what we call, uh, in my culture, we call Allah. Okay. And in other scriptures, they call Yehovah. Mm -hmm. And so many other names, what you call Krishna, God. But there is only one God and that's there is right. one universal force. And, mm -hmm. and that's why, you know, I'm, I'm in the States and I came here with, with the purpose and the message that we're all one. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that you know, we're under one God. <laughs> right. And so now you do um, amazing work. You uh, are a film writer and a, a film writer and director. Filmmaker. Filmmaker, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so director. share about that. That's uh, fascinating, you know, to see, because it's not something that women are, are, you know, typically a lot doing that. So Especially a, in the Middle East. And right. I come from the Middle East, which is hard to be a film director mm. and because it's considered as a male profession, first of all. Okay. Um, but I, I come from a family, from a background. My, my father is a film director. Director. Oh, okay. So I grew up in the media, in mm -hmm. the industry, mm -hmm. but it's so weird that I did. You know, I studied literature and I, you know, did some writing just after my graduation, but I still didn't know what my purpose or what who am I. Who am I? <laughs> yeah, that's the right word, <laughs> I think. But when I started meditating, right. After deep meditations, and that's what I advise so in all my workshops, in all my lectures, and deep meditations who, mm. to discover who you are. Mm. So uh, when I studied spirituality and meditated deeply, I discovered myself. Mm. And then I said, okay, I was born in this family, I grew up there, and there is one purpose which I didn't sure. see before. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was kind of self-discovery. Mm. Then I started making movies, writing my novels Lovely. and books, but of course, spirituality is my biggest inspiration. Hmm. And so how does it inspire you? Spirituality. Yes. I think we have to spread uh, out a wisdom in mm. the world. And mm -hmm. every one of us, uh, we have a unique role. Right. But that's the point. That's, that's the thing we should discover, what is our unique role. But it starts with discovering your own uniqueness. Right because we are all different and we, we are all are. unique. We are. And then I thought that there is some knowledge, because if you have the knowledge, it gives you a responsibility. Mm, I like that. Yeah, then you have to share. Mm -hmm. If you get a message, spiritual or universal message, you have to be in a spiritual service. You do. And so, I just thought to myself that for some reason I got this training in spirituality, all these meditations, not only for myself, because mm -hmm. a s a selfishness is something which is against the universal laws. It the is. universe doesn't ever accept <laughs> selfishness. So if I keep this information and message for myself, and I just thought it's going to be such a selfishness, and I have to share it with the world. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started. But sometimes you, you don't plan things. You know, I just found myself doing these things sometimes. But when I interviewed in, with Daddy Janki in India, mm -hmm. she turned to me and she said, oh, you have a service worldwide. and." Oh my God, I didn't see it like that before. <laughs> right. So we all have a message to share. We do. And so you shared a wonderful story while you were there with the film crew, if you wanted to share that. Yeah, yeah because it's also so much against what my purpose is, what mm. I work for it, because I just want to show the world that we are all one. Right. And I come from a Muslim country. I grew up as a Muslim. My family, they're still Muslim. Uh, but I studied all scriptures and all mm. the spiritual knowledge which uh, made me understand that we are all one and they all talk about the same thing. Right. And I tried to find the common points 
among these scriptures and spiritual information. Mm -hmm. But when I went there, I took my crew and equipment from Turkey. Okay. Um, I think, you know, when I look back, of course, we have to forgive everyone. Forgiveness is another universal teachings of the universe. Right. <laughs> One of them, which is so important, is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I for forgive them all because I think they were also right. So I, I just can't imagine anybody without any spiritual background in India, you know, doing all these interviews. You have to get prepared. You have to have a background or right. some study previously. But these people, they weren't prepared for this. Right. They just found themselves in India and then the problems arose, like, you know, they claimed maybe I took them there to convert their religion. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> And it was so hard to explain them. Then I said to one of them, I remember, which makes me laugh now. So you should, you should be professional. Just try to ignore it, yeah. other things. Yeah, go beyond. And yeah, do mm -hmm. your shooting and be professional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he said, my faith is more important than, <laughs> than my Well, you can respect profession. that. Profession, <laughs> yeah. And then they wanted to leave. Okay. And my movie was half done. Mm -hmm. This is another miracle also, very interesting. And um, because it was so much stressful for me, they had the equipment, they mm -hmm. kind of threatened me to leave the country and the film is half done. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to let them go because right. I want to finish everything <laughs> sure. while I'm there. Right. And, but in the, in the evenings, I was going to this major room, which the frequency and vibration is so high to meditate. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. And I was meditating, meditating, because it had been a very stressful day. And then I heard my inner voice said that, let them go. <laughs> But I was kind of discussing and arguing with my inner voice. I said, no, I can't. <laughs> still, we control, you sure, know, that's, sure. that's still, we're human. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I can't. You know, I, I have to finish my movie. But then strongly, I felt that I should let them go. Mm -hmm. And then I said, OK, my movie is not finished. But anyway, I'll let them go. And sometime later, I'll come back mm -hmm. and I'll complete it. Right. And I was really relieved and I had wonderful time in, in Madhuban after they had left and my training kind of classes continued for me, which we believe nothing is a coincidence and oh, even, not. even mm -hmm. for them to leave India was not a coincidence no. for me to learn new things mm -hmm. and to do other things. As they say, the drama is accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it it's wasn't accurate. what I planned, but right. it was God's plan. Yes, sir. And then uh, I came to the States to show whatever I showed to my manager, Terry Porter. Mm -hmm. And when he watched, and I was just trying to bring explanation, oh, Terry, I didn't finish it. I'll go back to India. I have to finish this. Then he turned to me and he said, it is done. <laughs> and this is finished. <laughs> How come? You know, just go back and go to the studio and do your editing. Lovely. And when I went to the studio to start the editing, it was really, really finished. And it was finish the moment I heard my inner, inner voice to let them go. <laughs> you see the plan? Exactly. Yes, there's the plan, the trauma plan. Yeah, yes. I know. Mm -hmm. So now you shared some wonderful news uh, with me, and we'll see this clip now. What is the name of this movie? Uh, the Luck. Okay. It's The Luck. Right. So we want to see that uh, clip now, and then we'll share about this wonderful clip and the okay. news that you have to share. Okay. okay.
Afife teyze. O öldürüldü Perihan. Onu öldüreni bulmak zorundayım. O hep Ziya'yı sevdi. Ölene kadar. Peki kocası nasıl biriydi? Selahattin Pınar mı? O Afife'yi çok ama çok sevdi. Sendin. Sen yaptın. Bunu niye yapıyorsun Berna? Kaderimi değiştirmek için. Gelin gelin kaderim. Gelin 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 It's been awarded three weeks ago, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm Congratulations. Actually, no, thank you. I'm awarded <laughs> with this movie, and mm. it's one of the most important prizes in my country. It's You're award-winning now. <laughs> and it, <laughs> yeah, and it's the, like kind of honor of Turkish cinema, but in the name of this lady who mm. I made the story for, mm. Afife Jale. She's the first Muslim actress on stage. Okay. And But she lived in the era which... Mm, women, Muslim women, they were banned from acting. Mm. So it wasn't allowed okay. for them to act, but this woman, she was so passionate wow. about her art and mm. she was an actress, she wanted to act. She insisted to stay, in, to stay on stage and which caused so many problems in her life. Mm. Um, because she had to fight against fundamentalists all her life until mm. the end. And she, which is very interesting because uh, she was a drag addict. I mean, after all those problems in her life mm -hmm. and then she started using these drugs. Mm. She died at the age of 39. Okay. And she is one of the leader Turkish women in my country he mm. op who opened up a road for all of us. Okay, lovely. And so, yeah, this, but um, I made a reincarnation story. Mm. So um, I used reincarnation as a metaphor here. So that's the next clip, the reincarnation? No, no, that's no, it's this the one, same the one, the walk. Okay, right, uh -huh. okay. So um, we see her in the past, but we see uh, another actress from the new generation, mm. and she, she just finds out that she used to live as Afife Jale in the past. Mm. But she goes through the same things that sometimes, you know, kind of, criticizing that nothing ever changed for women sometimes you know, in in terms of women issues ju just um, the shapes and the things might seem different but in fact they are, they're all the same thing right. because this uh, lady of Fejale she she lived between 1920s and 40s okay so um, it was long long time ago and, but what I try to explain here, more importantly, is like the reincarnation story, why we are reborn over and over again, to fix our problems. Mm. And as long as we don't, we have to come to the earth again. Mm. And so it's a kind of the luck and to unlock things, mm. to fix the past Unlock, issues, like <laughs> yeah, to, to past issues. It doesn't have to be in different lives, even in our current lives today, you know. Yes. As long as we don't fix the problems, it's gonna come back again. our weaknesses, or oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until, until, we, until, fix until it. we learn the teachings <laughs> of the universe. Right, teachings of <laughs> yeah, the universe. Yeah, this is another important universal law. Mm -hmm. Until we learn, we have to face them again and again. <laughs> so this movie is, in fact, talking about this universal lovely, law. Lovely, lovely. And so, yeah, it's been awarded, and I'm so happy. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. It's going to be held, the ceremony, on the 30th, and just in three days' time. Okay. So my leading actress will get the prize on behalf of me, okay. and I'm so excited. That's great. They should have Skyped you in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, probably. Yes, you know, that would be nice lovely and so um i just want you to now talk about you have another clip of, of a okay. movie that you mm -hmm. also done whilst on my way okay so if we can see that clip now thank you Doğrusu eş 
ihtimal ver ölene kadar kiraya vermedik. Ama yalnızlık zor. Henüz değil. Zamanın göreceliğiyle ilgili bir çalışma yapıyorum. Daha güncel şeyler hakkında yazmalısın. Zamanın bir ilüzyon olduğunu söylemek yeterince güncel değil mi sizce? <Gülüyor> Hatalarımızı düzeltmek ve kendimizi affetmek için daima bir fırsat var. var, 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 var. Kim olduğumuzu bilmek için önce kim olmadığımızı görmemiz gerekiyor. Hayaller peşinden gitmek içindir. Okay, so Jada, you want to briefly share a little bit about this movie we just saw? Okay. Mm -hmm. Whilst on my way, first of all, it was dedicated to Duygu Asena, an important mm, writer, a woman writer in my country. Mm. We lost her uh, when she passed um, maybe 10 years ago, when I, yeah, when I was writing the script, so mm. seven years ago. And she passed while I was writing the story, actually. Oh, wow. And mm. I was writing a human story. And this is about quantum physics, and quantum physics is another metaphor here. Um, because, you know, in some cultures, um, we observe that being, women are pushed to live um, in a very limited life. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what impressed me a lot in the spiritual studies was Einstein's uh, relativity of time. I was so much impressed when I learned it, mm -hmm. and it looked to me so infinite. And infinity is an important world view. So before that, I think Newton's physical laws and his world view is also so limited. Okay. That everything is constant mm -hmm. and time is not flexible. Um, but Einstein's world view is quite different. So it gives us a chance to see everything in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. And this woman writer in the stories, she's by the culture and society, she's being pushed into whatever they want her to do, like mm -hmm. whatever they want her to write, because she wants to write about quantum physics, she wants to write about the universe, mm. but they claim that it's not good and suitable for women to think about these things. Oh, <laughs> wow. And then she's also insisting and fighting and in the end she leaves everything and goes away because mm. there's always part to go according to this infinite world, world view. Right. And it was the first movie, um, woman, woman uh, movie, it was shot after 1980s because in my country we had wonderful women movies made by male directors mm. um, but somehow at the end of 80s it stopped mm. and then a kind of this woman who was in search for her identity was lost mm. And I didn't realize because the subconscious is so important, you know, sometimes right. we act according to our subconscious, but we don't realize it. Mm -hmm. 
And then, um, because in the first scene of the movies, we see uh, in dark ocean, we see a young woman, she's diving in. Mm. And in the end, the last scene is she, she just jumps out right. and she breathes again. Mm -hmm. And after some time, after I'd made the movie, I was writing an article, The Women mm. in Turkish Cinema. Okay. And then yes. I realized mm -hmm. that, which I didn't see before, because in 1980s it was a bit surprising. Mm -hmm. Before it, it was very, um, you know, women were in categories like prostitutes, like good women, mm -hmm. like evil women, right. so many categories. Mm -hmm. um, but in 1980s we saw a human woman. Right. You no, know, she had all these evil things and mm -hmm. good things and bad things mm -hmm. and and also she had the honor and she was in search for her um, identity. Well, Jada, I really appreciate you sharing. You have so much to share and the 30 minutes <laughs> is not enough to share. Oh, we're but, done. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're all winding down. And so um, in the credits, they'll be able to see where they can uh, see your works. And um, I want to thank you for coming on the show. You have so oh, much I wonderful, think. you know, <laughs> as much of, I Thanks really enjoyed what you had to say. Me. And I'm thank sure the, get, the, um, the viewers will enjoy what you had to say. So as usual, thank you, Jaja. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it very much. Cecilia. And so, as always, your level of consciousness is the gateway to your future. Thank you.